All right, today we're going to be playing something different. I will be getting back to uh, the Lonesome Road DLC for Fallout and also Halo at some point. But I just wanted to try to do the uh, prologue of Dead Island. That way, when I'm making videos, I can just uh, copy de copy details easier, and I can just send it all to the same playlist. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play. Now, this is the dude I usually do whenever I'm playing this game, but because I just finished uh, another playthrough of the first Dead Island, hence why I'm starting to do uh, Riptide, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait a go ahead and play a new character. I'm not going to import my Dead Island character because I like uh, being able to choose my own stuff. When I was growing up in New Orleans, all I ever wanted to do was rap. But man, I couldn't catch a break until who do you voodoo? <laughs> it was supposed to be a joke, but all of a sudden I was rich as shit. I had everything I ever wanted, man. Everything. Except respect. Nobody thought I was a real deal. Just some no talent one hit wonder. And hell, if I didn't start believing them. It's no surprise I didn't have another hit after that. I ain't nothing to say. Well, you know what? I got something to say now. Didn't think I'd ever see anything as sad as Katrina. But this plague, what happened at the Royal Palms, what happened in Morrisby, it's something out of goddamn horror movie, man. The dead are rising up against the living like it's the end of days. And maybe it is, but I gotta say, people do amazing shit when they up against it. The ones you think gonna stand their ground, they fucking run. And the quiet ones, the ones you don't even notice, man, they don't give an inch. They'll give up everything for somebody they don't even know. There's a song there somewhere. Shit. I don't even know if I'm going to still be standing when all is said and done. But if I am, believe me, Sam B got something to say. All right. And what's interesting is that this uh, Sam B is the only character to come from the uh, first two games to come back. My name's Perna, and I'm gonna tell you about the worst bloody holiday ever. I anyway, was at the Royal Palms Resort uh, on Benoit, working as a bodyguard for some asshole CEO. I figured once he left the island, I'd have a good week to relax on the beach, enjoy a Mai Tai or two. But no, that wasn't to be. As I woke up one morning to discover that, that the goddamn zombie apocalypse had arrived. A local lifeguard by the name of Cinnamon saved my life. Soon after that, I discovered I was immune to whatever this plague was. I met a few others who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States. Logan, an ex-football player and full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit on me. And Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. And from there, things really went to hell. The army tried to contain the infection, but they were bloody useless. Benoit itself was totally isolated. It was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. 
Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who flew us out of there on the Colonel's helicopter. We were off that goddamn island at last, and everyone we tried to save back on Benoit, well, they just didn't make it. Except for that little native girl, Nerima. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to finally find a safe haven. Off me. What the hell? What is going on here? Uh, get off me! Uh, get it off me! Get it off! What's with the cuffs? Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Hardy. Don't resist and you'll be fine. We just need to be sure you don't pose Man, a threat. we no threat. The threat's on Benoit. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. Asshole. Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. The two others will come with me. Lab. Uh, hey, do we look like goddamn guinea pigs I'm to you? I'm a citizen of the USA, man. I got motherfucking rights. Back off, Serpo. But just stay out of it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Palanai, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors? Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here. Well, you got an asshole in charge that's fucking incompetent. I'm talking about the guy in the suit. He, uh, Colonel Hardy... Is it a bad guy? It just seems like he course, is so because his hands are basically tied. Fee doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Is this strange just reuse Dr. West's uh, model from the first game for uh, this the medic? Woman? Yerima. That's a more complicated case. He's being taken to another location. Don't that worry. Never find I'm keeping out. a close eye. Oh, God. Oh, my head. Oh, what the hell happened? The motherfuckers drugged us. Who are you? Hey, we're talking to you. I'm nobody, really. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. What? They plant you here to spy on us. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all immune to How'd this. How'd you get here? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a... Huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. Serpo. Right. 
Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All Science. I know is there's a naval Evil blockade science. around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Christ, I'm still woozy from these bloody drugs. Alright. This... I would... This is probably gonna be the longest uh, of the videos coming. Goddamn drugs. Where the hell's everybody else? What, did they take them while I was out? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to. Ha this is gonna be the longest video, but I'm Shit, gonna. Shit, man. Long I'm gonna be locked up. This is Colonel Hardy. The ship's been compromised. If uh, you're down in the hole, I'm opening all the cell doors. I better get the hell out of here while I still can. Anyway, uh. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh. Uh, that's one thing. Oh, okay. One, uh. Um. What was I saying? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try. This is gonna be the longest one, and everything I do after this, I'm gonna try and make around 30 minutes or so. Then. Uh, then I. Yeah, but. Uh, try to keep every actress lower than uh well around 30 minutes oh yes right it has to be one reason why I like this game uh perfect it's exactly six another reason why I like uh this game over the first one and two uh I mean two is a pretty decent game but there are some flaws to it uh one reason why I like uh anyway, one reason why I like it is because you actually uh, get you actually have weapon level. Like weapon proficiency levels, I guess that's what they're called. So that way you actually can are you actually supposed to have a mix of all the, of each kind of weapon, even if you're not playing a, a certain a focused character, because you'll still be able to upgrade all the uh, weapons. Cause you know, even when I was uh, when I was playing uh one uh one, even when I was playing Sam B, the character I'm doing now, I still mainly went with uh the uh so uh swords and stuff like that. I, mean, I still have like the uh cannabo and stuff like that. But oh, another reason why I like this game: way more weapon switch. Although one flaw is, because of course none of the game is perfect, one flaw is there's no more named weapons. Or named orange weapons. Uh, it's like, I think you can still, I don't remember if you can get orange weapons still to begin with. Wait, no, yeah, you can still get orange weapons, they're just not going to be named anymore. It's like the five weapon day weapons that show up. Uh, 
you're going to find them in white quality and that's it. But anyway. Uh. Everybody's gone. Shit. This looks bad. Time for loot. Best I can figure how the ship got infected. Uh, with the carrier, the immune are also carriers. Kind of like 28 uh, weeks and months later. Better find myself a weapon. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Find out what's going on in the ship. Uh. Zombies? That's what's going on. And basically, in the prologue, well, you'll see, uh, when you're doing the prologue, as soon as you get your hands on guns, uh, just use them. Don't worry if you run out of ammo. Captain don't know most of his crew is dead. Clear now. I mean, this dude, I have a gun in his holster. Time to get my ass in gear. Uh, makes sense. Because, uh, you know, probably, uh, had his, uh, sidearm out, got attacked, and lost it. But, due to the cutscene not having any, uh, uh, sidearms only makes sense because okay it doesn't make sense from a logical standpoint but when you gotta remember that they 
from a uh, point to uh, Reeves asset standpoint because like basically the soldiers in the beginning are just Reeves assets of the uh, zombies you fight on the ship. It's like, That they even let loose anything higher white. You know where I'm going down with this piece of shit. Uh, Let's see what we got here. Weapons spawn. When it's the uh, prologue, you're gonna lose them all anyway. Oh, that's my passion. I'm 
go back to uh this workshop. Do I have any uh I'm for kicking for getting you go ah okay no I don't have any. I mean that'd be wasted money because I think the only things to keep back from prologue are your uh money and your uh the let's see. <sighs> Your money and your uh craft Uh one thing I really don't like about the definitive edition is that the first the original first game the original first game you could actually uh no, knock a zombie into water. Shit. Knock the zombie into water. And, uh, they would take damage until they got back up. But because there is a zombie in, uh,. In uh the fir the uh this game where uh it lurks in the water waiting for someone to come by in the definitive edition it don't let you do that anymore. Uh okay. The only reason I'm doing this is because uh, I'm trying to uh, get. Somebody needs to get this ship under control. I you think, gotta get this ship under control, or we screw. I think later get a. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to say I, try, I would want try to do a right. Get this asshole off me. Pretty sure you get a right. Uh a bit later into the prologue. Yeah, cause I got the rifle and I didn't have an actual rifle shooting. Yeah. I used to try to kill every zombie I see. Oh yeah, you will see it. You will see me die a lot when I'm playing this game. Shit! 
Hey, watch it. I still record in total. Yeah. Crap, I'm beginning to have. Well, that's the first time I died so far. Yeah, this video is going to be pretty long. But I'm going to try to keep the rest down to 30s. Uh, something else. Okay. Well, I can go. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. Because I like to uh, do a bit, a little bit of role play when I'm not playing these games. Like this, this dude had a shotgun and he got bit. And I had to kill him.
Wake up. You all right? Uh, what happened? The ship. What? Get up. The ship's dead in the water. Can you walk? I can try. Where am I? Hal and I. But it's really not safe here on the beach. There's an infection. Some sort of plague. Again? Fuck me, man. The whole island's gone to hell. Yeah, I've been there before. We'll talk later. Right now, you need to move. Head for the Paradise Survival Camp. Look for the big treehouse. You'll find other survivors there. Take this. In the meantime, I'll see if anyone else washed up on the beach. Uh... Well, yeah... This storm was a disaster! Yeah, uh, this, uh, shovel is one Jesus weapon that I really like for this game. And I'll, I'll go, go ahead, ahead and pick, pick up, up this dude's, uh, baton. Uh... Wonder if anyone else survived. Wait, I have another skill, okay. Jeez. Uh... Alright. I'm gonna go ahead, stop my recording, upload it. Probably we'll catch, catch up, up on anime. anime. The next, next video will 100% be more the Lonesome Road DLC. I just don't know when. Uh, Alright. Goodbye. I'll see y'all next video. You need to get patched up.